right guys so I wanted to make a video of how I loaded my kayak up this time on my DIY utility trailer uh, converted to a kayak hauler. Um, I pulled into the dock there, worked my way down the dock, pulled up to the ramp and then I exited out of the boat um, or the kayak into a shallow portion of the ramp and then I backed it up to a cleat and just got a tie off there. Uh, Notice this particular ramp, there's three or four ramps there. It was only like two trucks in the parking lot so it was a very quiet day. It was a weekday. All right, I've got the truck, the trailer brought back down to the ramp at this point. You can see the plastic flooring that I have on my trailer there. It's old kennel flooring that I have and I used uh, screws and screwed it down to the deck and I have some pool noodles with straps running across it there. I may end up taking that off. That kind of stops me from being able to just slide it up there so easy it gets hung on it but it does provide some kind of uh, cushioning for the, the kayak. I may slide it up there and then slide the noodles under it afterwards. Um, right now I'm pulling it on up on the trailer. I back the trailer down to where the tires just did get in the water maybe an inch. It didn't even get up to the rim so you know no water is getting in my um, hubs or my um, anything like that in the grease or anything so it won't cause many problems with that. I just slid the kayak up there. I worked it over those pool noodles. I'd say that if I didn't have those pool noodles there I'd probably be able to slide it up there. I would be able to slide it up there a lot easier. But anyway, just pushed it from the rear, got it on up there. Working my way around to the front, I'm going to put a bow strap on it, um, just like you would any other boat. I've got some uh, cushioning on the side of the trailer and one on the front. I can do a more detailed video on my trailer uh, at a later time if anyone's interested in that. But anyway, I'm going to put the bow strap on it here. Um, all it is is a cam strap. Just run it around, hold it, and then I'll pull on up off the ramp. Uh, just like you would any other boat and just get out of the way uh, for other boaters although there's none here today just you know going to use etiquette going to you know practice what you uh, are going to do in a normal situation so anyway putting the strap on here take a second give a quick look around I always give a look around to make sure you don't have anything hanging off, dragging, anything like that, just like you would with a regular full-size boat. Uh, you'd be surprised how many people pull off with their motor down or something like that on a regular boat, end up tearing up everything. But anyway, getting on in the truck here, you're going to pull up the ramp, and I'll uh, pull on over to the side, and then we'll kind of de-rig the uh, boat. You can see the uh, toolbox that I've got, the crate and all that. Um, kind of de-rig everything, unpack secure everything down for the trip home. Um, normally I use a C-Tug kayak cart uh, that I have and it works well but it's just so much easier just driving down to the edge of the water and putting the boat right in and, and, and pulling it right out. It doesn't, it doesn't cause any scuffing or any problems or anything like that. Just much easier to uh, get the boat in and out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Later.